Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Soul Tribe, my beautiful Aries, my kings and queens, my baby bosses. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into this message. I have a, a few messages here. Not that many as yesterday, but I have some messages here in my notebook. And um, someone's in, someone is inspired by your energy. Okay, so there's someone here that's very inspired by your energy, all right? But this person is also triggered by your light. So there's somebody that's inspired by your energy, but they're also triggered by your light, okay? So this person is in some sort of uh, in-between energy when it comes to you, all right? This person is inspired by you, but they're triggered by your light. This person... Um, this is somebody that really wants to change their ways. This could be somebody that really wants to surrender their shadow side. They want to surrender uh, their bad thoughts, all right? They want to surrender their lack of mentality or mindset. You have inspired someone, even though you can be triggering them with your light, okay? So let's get right into this message. I have, a, I have something here that I wrote down, um, a poem for you guys here as well. And I was just listening to that Young Ma song, the new song by Young Ma. If you guys haven't heard it, go check it out. It's fire. All right. Uh, when I heard this song, it really, really resonated with me. Um, I wrote a couple bars down from her song. So you guys could go check out Young Ma's new song, Open Scars. Um, shout out to Young Ma. All right. It seems like she had an awakening. It seems like she's uh, went through some sort of spiritual awakening in her life where she realized that you know, the wealth didn't make her because her aura shines bright, all right? So she's figuring now that she's valuable because of herself, because of her creativity, because how she's different, because of her aura. She's realizing that the material things in her life didn't make her, all right? The, the, these same material things in her life and um, her addiction to uh, Henny, which is her addiction to alcohol, really made her lose herself, really almost took her life, okay? So she realized that she had a lot of fake ones in her circle, all right? So she had to detach. She went she went MIA for three years, and now she came back with this song, Open Scars. So for whoever you are watching this video, you had a lot of open scars, open wounds. You had a lot of betrayals. You had a lot of sharks around you, okay? So you had to go MIA on them. You had to pull back your energy. You had to go ghost on a lot of people, so you can go within and work on yourself. So you can come out like the phoenix rising. All right? So you can come out the humble beast. All right? Lessons learned. Now it's your turn to win. Whoever you are, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to read these bars to you from this Young, young Ma song. You guys need to go check this out, Open Scars. All right? There's a couple bars that I liked and that resonated. She said, I lost sight, but I found God. I had guys I called brothers leave me in the storm. That's why my heart's cold, even when it's warm. Wow. I don't need material shit. My aura shines too, all right? So for whoever you are, you might not have all the material things, or maybe you had to lose a couple. You had to lose some assets. You had to lose a home. You had to lose clothes. You had to lose people. You had to lose some, a car, whatever you had to lose in order to find yourself again, in order to get closer to the Most High God, because your aura shines bright, okay? Whoever you are, you have a bright aura, and um, if you have any open scars, it's time to heal it. It's time to go in the, into uh, some meditations, all right, to heal these wounds and scars that were caused by people that you really thought that, that loved you or that you loved, okay? So whoever you are, you had people try to throw you under the bus. You had people try to throw you under the bus or throw you under the bus for money, all right, for the love of money, I heard, for the love of money, for the love of money, gotta get that money, man, who is that? I think that's young, young, um, Bone, Young, Bone, Thugs and Harmony, something like that, for the love of money, they wanted to throw you under the bus, for the love of money, they wanted to sell you out, it's all about the Benjamins, all right, somebody's name could be Benjamin, all right, Somebody here could have tried to like apply for some sort of money grant business loan or some sort of um, try to get some sort of uh, payout using your information. 
this person um, is going to have to go to court. This person is being served. This person is going to have to pay you back whatever money they obtained using your information. They thought they got away with it, stealing your money. All right. And they could have tried to hide this in a secret bank account. Now this bank, there's a bank that's under investigation. All for the love of money, power, control over your life. Your ancestors could be haunting somebody in their home because I heard Beetlejuice. All right, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice energy, somebody being haunted in their home or uh, somebody's trying to send some sort of energy to your home. All right, the lights could be turning off by themselves. The TV could be turning on and off by itself. Weird things could be happening. All right, grab your stage if this is happening in your home. All right, it was trying to send some sort of dark energy to your home. All right, if this is not happening in your home, this could be happening in somebody's home here. All right, and then I have something that I heard, or this is something that I saw online. All right, and this is really, really accurate for you guys. If you're not inspired by the people in your circle, then you don't have a circle, you have a cage. So if somebody doesn't come into your life to inspire you, they're coming in your, into your life to keep you stuck. All right, to put you in some sort of orchestrated matrix into some sort of simulation to try to put you in a dark timeline. So I'm going to read that to you guys again. If you're not inspired by the people in your circle, then you don't have a circle, you have a cage. Remember that. I'm going to go get into this poem, all right, because you guys could be at the point of no return right now. There is no looking back. There is no you um, putting down your guard. There is no you letting people come towards you to take what they want and leave. There's no you entertaining gossip, drama, or low vibrational energy. All right, this is, you guys are at the point of no return. You chose yourself because you didn't want to lose yourself. Somebody wanted you to lose yourself, but you ended up choosing yourself instead. All right? So this poem is called The Point of No Return. Lessons learned, credits earned. Now you discern right from wrong. You were being tested all along. Remain strong. Look to God, never follow the leader down a dark path, or you will feel the wrath. Do the math, they were never meant to last. Complicated situations turn into higher elevations, force you to awaken. The ground beneath you is shaking. Wow. All right? Grab your crown and hold it tight. People coming left and right, use your light to blind the, their eyes. Don't believe their lies. You are heaven's angels protected by archangels. Wow. Okay. So yeah. Um, don't let somebody's lies blind you. All right. Don't let nobody's tricks work. All right. To manipulate you to make a certain decision or to go to a certain direction or to not um, get into your purpose to have confidence. You guys are showing up like very confident, very intuitive. All right. They're still doing the most. There's still uh, gang stalkers around you. They're still targeting you. The watchers are still watching you, but they're watching you. Uh, now that they're watching you, they've been watching you through this whole situation, but now they're watching you with different eyes, all right? They're watching you like you are the prize. They're watching you like you are wise. They're watching you like you have something to teach them. They're watching you like this now, all right? So some their whole perspective of you has changed. Somebody's perspective of you has changed for a reason, all right? Mm. So uh, now they know that they were wrong for misjudging you. There was a, there's like a whole community of people that are uh, regretful because they misjudged you, all right, because you were building in silence, all right, when you want to build, build in silence, all right, you were building in silence, and this group of people that was targeting you, they didn't know what to attack, they didn't know which way to go, they didn't know how to approach you, because they didn't know what you were working on, you were building in silence, all right, and they didn't know they didn't know what to attack, okay? That's the message. If you keep your if if you keep your plans private, if you build in silence, if you keep the snakes out of the out of your grass, out of your property, right? Keep these snakes away from you, then what are they going to tear down? They're not going to know what to tear down. They're not going to know uh what you got going on and how to maneuver through that energy you have. You have like this whole protection shield around you, like the whole armor of the most high God and your ancestors is around you and around your home. Okay, even around your vehicle, if you drive a car and you drive for work or you travel, you are protected. All right, so now it's time for you to start building with confidence. Now it's time for you to stop worrying about what these karmics are actually up to and doing. We don't have to worry about that no more. This is a new year. Now you just got to focus on how you're going to build your empire, on how gonna, you're going to build your business, on how you're going to um, keep defeating dark energies by transmuting them and moving forward. All right, that's what you're going to do. 
The more loving care you give to yourself, the more love you have to give to others. Exactly. This is the message. The more love you give to yourself, it's like you're putting a coin in a jar every time. Every time you choose yourself, every time you love yourself, every time you're above the distractions, every time you keep moving forward motivated, every day there's new accolades, new money going into this jar, all right? And at this t at this point, you're... <clears throat> wow. At this point, your jar is full. It's like... It's like spilling over. It's like, yeah, somebody really tried to block my throat chakra. This happens every time I talk to you guys. All right, but I'm going to keep going. The more love you give to yourself, the more love you have to give to others. All right, the more unconditional love you get, you have to give. All right, so yeah, whoever you are, there you go. You're putting love on, you're putting love on, um, into yourself. And now other people have to give you your respect. All right, because you earned your respect. You took back your power. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry all night. Somebody could be crying all night because they're devastated, because they had an awakening and realized that they lost the best thing that they ever had, or they lost their other half, or they lost you, or now you're not looking at this person the same. You can't look at them the same after everything they did to you. This person could be crying at night now because they're devastated because they really hurt the person that they love most, all right? But they were blinded by spiritual warfare. They were blinded by black magic. They were blinded by the karmics. This person is devastated. You could be... You could be picking up on somebody's energy. Maybe whoever you are, maybe you got emotional. You get emotional at night or maybe you get sad at night. You're picking up on somebody's energy here. All right. The color blue is significant. I heard blue. Somebody could have blue hair or blue black hair or somebody has blue eyes. All right. Somebody could be an indigo star seed. Archangel Michael's protecting you. All you need is to believe in yourself. So when you started to believe in yourself, mm, 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 that's when everything changed. That's when you start seeing the world in a whole new different perspective here. Yep. People are, um, reveal your worries and receive universal abundance. So you let your ancestors know what your worries are and they will take care of it for you. All right. In the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes it is, it, and sometimes that is enough. Okay. So you tried to be there for this person or these people. You cared so many times. You tried to fix the connection. You did your part. But sometimes in the end, you got to walk away. In the end, that is enough, God said. If you gave somebody the message, the memo, the advice, you inspired somebody, but they're still triggered by your light, then maybe that person needs to go reflect, okay? That is a reflection of their uh, insecurities. That is a reflection of their, of their shadow side, all right? Something they need, they have never dealt with. Okay, so your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So you guys are pursuing something or you're in the energy of pursuing your dreams. All right, I heard dream chasers. So there's no slowing you down. All right, you're taking back your power, my beautiful loves. Let's get into this energy for you guys. So there's somebody here that's uh, really uh, in the in-between when it comes to you. It's like... Uh, this person needs to surrender something about themselves in order to be in alignment with you, okay? So this person actually does admire you, but at the same time, they're triggered by your light. Whoever this is, this person could be a push and pull in your energy. One minute, this person's like conversating with you. One minute, they're on one accord with you. The next minute, they're uh, arguing with you. They're going back and forth with you. You know, they're, they're speaking to you, uh, you know, disrespectfully. Or they argue, they have an argument about something you said or something you told them. And then you're like, what's going on? So this person is making you feel kind of confused or they have in the past. All right. Now this person is having to reflect because this person allowed the queen of cups to keep them stuck, to keep them stagnant, to attack you, to look at you different. All right. To feel burdened by you. This queen of cups did the most for this person to not support you. It doesn't matter who this person is. They could be a coworker. They could be a boss. All right. They could be. They could be a family member. They could be a friend. This could be an ex. All right. But this Queen of Cups had somebody looking at you different. This Queen of Cups told a whole bunch of lies and manipulated a situation. This Queen of Cups is under judgment for having somebody come towards you. All right. To do something to you spiritually, attack you. When this Queen of Cups already knew you were intuitive and you were powerful and you were protected, but this Queen of Cups put that person up to it anyway. All right, now this Queen of Cups is dealing with the consequences. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. All right, somebody's taking a leap of faith towards you or you guys are taking a leap of faith in a new direction. 
because this person um healed, healed their heart. This person is removing the three of swords. So somebody that hurt you, now they're hurt because they you took leave of faith for yourself. You believed in yourself, all right? You remove uh you remove the swords. You started to heal, but this person now sees you taking a leap of faith, healing your heart, and you are manifesting the Ace of Cups, a major offer, a right communication, something that you're gonna be very happy about. All right, so you guys manifested. The Ace of Cups by taking a leap of faith. Or somebody's taking a leap of faith with you because they want wish fulfillment. They want emotional fulfillment with you. They see you as their everything. They see you as their star. Okay, yeah. And this uh, Queen of Cups here is experiencing entire moments. This Queen of Cups is losing her Nine of Pentacles. All right, this Queen of Cups had a major tower moment because somebody's taking a leap of faith towards you. Exactly, I cannot make it up. I just said that this Queen of Cups had a tower moment because she sent somebody towards you to come for your Nine of Pentacles, all right, to cause you a tower moment. And when I said tower moment, boom, the tower flew out the deck. All right, can't make it up. There you go. This Queen of Cups is having a major tower moment. This could be a mother figure. This could be a sister. This could be... A cousin, this could be a fake friend, this could be anybody, somebody in your workplace. This karmic is under judgment, all right, because you're seen as the queen of swords and the upright. You're seen as very intuitive, very discerning male or female, taking leaps of faith, taking back your power, inspiring other people, receiving the ten of pentacles, all right? You're doing something to inspire other people. You're like a whole movement, all right? So you're a whole movement. I'm a boss all, I'm a boss all by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Baby, I'm good all by myself, but baby, do you make me better? You make me better. All right, so somebody here sees you as a whole force by yourself, but they want to join forces with you. This person feels like you help them awaken, you enlighten them, you make them better. And this is bringing the Queen of Cups over here in the reverse, a major tower moment, because now they can't control this person's actions or decisions anymore, all right? Because you are the Empress, all right? This person loves you or values you as the Empress, male or female. Very intuitive and grounded, connected to nature. Mm. You guys could be seeing a bunny or rabbits are significant. Because I heard Roger Rabbit. Somebody's name could be Roger. All right, you guys could be seeing rabbits. That's uh, bunnies or rabbits. And then I also heard like a frogs, a frogs, bunny, rabbits, frogs, or a turtle. That's what I heard. So those are animals that could be significant that you guys could have seen or be seeing. Whatever, all right? So I heard a bunny, a frog, and a turtle. Wow, all right? And there you go. You are the star. You're shining bright in the spotlight, or you are meant to be shining bright in the spotlight. You have a lot of admirers and somebody that tried to slander your name, ruin your reputation, all right? Sabotage what you were doing. Have people looking at you sideways is under judgment. Oh, my God, I can't make this up. I keep calling out the cards before they even pop out. I just said this person's under judgment. Judgment comes out. Wow, this is crazy how spirit always confirms every message that they give to me. They're under judgment, all right, because something was your destiny, something is your birthright. They try to interfere. They try to put, uh, project fear into your life, all right, but all it did was made you stronger, all right? Yeah, because you got the snakes out of the grass, like Young Ma says. I build a fence to, uh, to protect me from the snakes. Then she said something about... Um, now I eat the snakes. Something like that. You guys got to go listen to that Young Ma song. All right? Because this is what's going on. Somebody thought that they had you defeated. Somebody thought that you were down for the count. But then, boom, you come out like stronger than before. You come out like the phoenix. You're over here doing your thing. All right? Recognition and reward. Wow. Yes. Because you know all the truths and the secrets that this karmic and these people in your life were keeping, were hiding, were doing behind the scenes. They've been exposed by your ass. Your ancestors know who these people are. All right, now somebody wants to rush in with a whole bunch of messages as if they support you, as if they're giving you recognition, as if they were always on your team, but this person was not. Somebody wants to reach out with a whole bunch of messages to get into your good, good graces again. Keep this person out of your energy. I'm telling you right now, this person is like, this person is very shady. This is a trickster. This person trying to blood bomb you or communicate something to you like they support you. Because if this person was living overseas or this person was living at a distance, something went left for them wherever they were living at. This person uh, uh, 
lost everything now they're devastated they don't have nothing this person might not have anything left to their name and now they feel like they're gonna come towards you and you can help them because maybe you did help this karmic queen of cups or king of cups in the past this could be a male or female but this person never helped you all they ever did was manipulate you betray you use you deceive you all right and leave you on the cold when you needed them the now this person feels like they have the audacity I don't like this energy, right? Because now that you are in this confident energy and you're attracting what you want and you're seen and you're, you know, you're being recognized, this person always knew you was a high priestess. This person always knew you were a, a empath, a very powerful psychic empath, that you were protected. But this person still sent somebody towards you to try to bring you down, orchestrate things in your life. And this person took the assignment knowing damn well, this karmic knew damn well that this person they sent to you was about to be defeated by your ancestors, but this person did that anyway, okay? So there's a karmic here that sent somebody towards you even though they knew you were heavily protected because this karmic was a coward and couldn't do something to you theirself, all right? So now they're going to come towards you like they never had anything to do with anything, but you already got the memo about this karmic. This karmic sent somebody towards you, towards Virgo Capricorn energy here, all right, to cause a lot of conflict and chaos and confusion in your life. All right, like I said, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this karmic queen of cups could have sent this karmic king of pentacles towards you to try to get you caught up in some sort of orchestrated energy, illusion, or confusion spells to try to attach something to your energy. And it didn't work because you seen this person coming. You knew this person was attached to this karmic. Even if this person said, oh, I don't talk to so-and-so anymore, you already knew they were still, this person, they always go back and forth to each other. So they was going to try to put you in some sort of weird love triangle or some sort of weird, uh, yeah. They were, this, this Queen of Cups is no good, all right? Now this Queen of Cups and this King of Pentacles experiencing the Nine of Wands while you set out to achieve great success, joy, and fortune, and recognition. You have a lot of options. Putting yourself out there unbothered. Somebody's losing sleep. Somebody could have a flower blanket or a flower comforter, all right? Yeah, somebody here could have a flower comforter or a flower blanket. They're... This could be you or someone else. You could be waking up at night having weird dreams because this person is in mental conflict because of all their sneaky behaviors in your life, okay? And now um, the Queen of Pentacles with the her with the Virgo card. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart. You you are very wise, sage. You are very intuitive, all right? You, have an, you are enlightening other people or you came here to enlighten other people, all right? So you get the home of your dreams and you get to live a comfortable life with the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands here. Because you had the strength to persevere, your ancestors know that you were the one in your family that was going to expose these things. Your ancestors chose you to break this generational curse in your bloodline. Somebody with the letter B or J knew you were a high priestess all your life, but they still decided to try to work up against you, to try to do work on you. They're, and this is in the reverse. This is not being warranted, all right? They did their last spell. That's what I heard. They did their last freaking spell because you're standing ten toes down with the queen of wands, male or female. And um, somebody's bringing you an offer or you're giving somebody else an offer. You're just attracting a major opportunity here. Okay? Yeah, success is your birthright. All right? So like I said, this karmic really sends somebody towards you to get some sort of information, to keep you stuck, to have sex with you, to transfer some dark energy to you, to get you in some sort of gossip or rumors. But it didn't work because you used your intuition and you figured this person out and you're still ten toes down. That's what I heard. And now this karmic is under judgment, having a tower moment, losing everything. People around this karmic are leaving this karmic because this karmic has, this karmic caused a lot of drama and confusion among these people, all right? When they put somebody onto your path to try to destroy you. And um, like I said, that they did their last spell. They really did their last spell. All right, this could be a, a new project or business deal that's coming in for you guys. This could be a new opportunity. A cousin is under judgment. Your cousin is under judgment. All right. You're with your soulmate or you are about to be with your soulmate. All right. Sudden payout or windfall of money is what you're attracting. When somebody gives you some sort of business deal, contract deal, world-renowned energy. All right. You are about to be a star in the public eye. Or you are already going viral or this is what you're meant to do. Get to it. Somebody's toxic mom is exposed. Somebody's neighbor, all right, is targeting someone here. This could be you or someone else. The neighbor's targeting you, all right? Somebody juggling in your energy. They got casted out. This person knows that you are powerfully protected, so now they're going to try to, if you can't beat them, join them type of energy. You need to leave this person outside. I'm trying to tell you. 
Somebody's getting locked up because they're criminal minded. All right. There's a lot of separations and divorce and tar moments happening before the new year because people are getting into alignment with their purpose. People are waking up to the truth that they could have been in a karmic. You guys, everybody's waking up to the truth here. And if you guys are a part of this energy, then waking up to the truth about being with somebody stuck in a karmic connection brings a major tower moment. And somebody you were dealing with had the nerve to use your information with a karmic to try to get some sort of money off of it, some sort of grant, pay raise, a loan, or freaking um, something like that, claiming something with your information, they're going to jail. All right, somebody's court date gets postponed because there's a, some top secret files of information that come to light. And so this is going to like really shift this energy, surrendering to love here. And that they were seeking revenge, and that's why this is all happening. Somebody could be a tattoo artist. Somebody could be a fair-skinned female. I heard Anna, Annie, Annette, Janet, Janice, Jalen, Jalen or Jaden, Jamie, Terrell, Lauren, Caitlin. All right. Some of you guys know you were adopted, and that's another thing that's coming out to the light. You had some childhood trauma. The letter S, T, U, or V. Sally, Selena, Trevor, Valerie, Serena, or Sierra. Tow truck driver. Somebody's getting their car towed. That person was seeking revenge. You know, or somebody here is working together with a tow truck driver. Somebody's shady daughter betrayed them. Good news is coming. The son is being manipulated, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you need a personal, reach out to me. My email's down below. Thank you so much. Till the next time, namaste.